All right, everybody, welcome back to the Adventures of the Galaxy. Today we are doing the much awaited Spirian OptiFit gas mask review. This is the six year review. I've had this mask for like six or seven years, so it's actually a long time. Um, now, I'm going to be going over a, a couple different things, the type of filters that I use, comparison to some of the other things. Um, I'm going to do like a, another video that's like a, more of a comparison video between these two. This is just like a, a respirator, like the 3M Cool Flow. And this is like another version of that, um, as you can see here with these pink things. I know you've seen like a lot of people wearing these um, around, like if you've seen like the original footage from uh, China and, you know, the whole uh, outbreak of COVID and many other different places, they wear these with the little pink things. Now, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to be doing this video um, as a review because I've had this for a long time, six years now, and I'm thinking about getting another one. A couple little tiny little things i have been kind of like messing up like this little Let's see if you can see it in here. This little thing right here, this little flappy doodle right there, that's kind of looking kind of crazy. It's good. Like, that's what stops the air from coming in. Whenever you're breathing out, it stops the air from coming out so that it can go out of the other part where it's supposed to go out through the uh, the little thing there, the little, little exhaler deal. So um, I've had this for a, a while. And the reason why I like this one versus many of the other gas masks is because it has a like one specific, it has like one piece of uh, visual thing here. And it's very hard. This is like very, I'm going to put some stuff up in the thing here. See if I can put it up there. Uh, what the rate, it's like very, it's rated for like molten steel and stuff like that. Like if they were to jump up and splash in your face when you're working, or like I said, you're a firefighter, you're doing something like something hot or something explodes. It's supposed to be able to, you know, it's, supposed, it's rated up to the point to where you can like, stop any type of projectiles that would come from like a you know steel work or something splashing off like you know the molten metal or some like a so small low level like you know explosion or some type of fire things you know in fires crackling explosion things like that a lot of firefighters uh, use these they have scba systems for them they're really great like i said it's a really fantastic mask um one of the subscribers or somebody was just viewing the video and asked me to uh you know do a review uh, uh, a follow-up on this because i've had it for so long like I said, it's a fantastic mask. It fits, uh, I'm going to put, like I said, I put some videos over here. Uh, it fits really well with all of my Kevlars. Now, um, I haven't worn it in a while, so it might look a little weird. Uh, when you're wearing this with the Kevlar, you're going to have to kind of, if you, like I said, if you've ever been in the military or you've ever been in like a, you know, first responder or just had like a very specific job with hazmat or whatever, or just doing it because you like it. When you put a, hel a helmet on or wearing other gear, you have to be conscious of the fact of you know, all the different straps, when you're wearing it by itself, it has straps that are supposed to fit a certain way. Then when you wear something else over top of it or underneath or are, or in conjunction with it, you're going to have to adjust the straps and do all this other stuff. And so that's kind of like why I'm doing this little video here is because a lot of the guy, uh, the person in the comments asked me, Hey, can you do a video of this, how this is shooting, uh, you know, shooting a rifle with a gas mask on? Cause that's like something that people train for, uh, in many different situations. Or if you're using just multiple types of gear, if you're a police officer, first responder, uh, you're a person with a job, you're wearing a gas mask. You're going to be wearing that with other things, radios, a sling for like, you know, other objects or things you're going to be wearing. So you have to be conscious. One of the things I've always said, be conscious of having all your gear on at once, wearing it and actually doing it. Cause like I said, we were in the military. We have to wear flak jackets and uh, Kevlar helmets and stuff. And uh, when you put on, because this is before they had uh, like the new interceptor vest and all this other stuff. Like these little tiny little chest rigs is really dumb. So like I said, I'm a, I'm a fan of like the, you know, the actual fucking flak jackets. You know, you can put Kevlar, you can put the, uh, the you know, little armor plates in there, which is like what I have. I have multiple versions of that as well because I've saved up money and just bought that. But like I said, wearing this gas mask with all these other, I have two different types of Kevlar. I have like one of the uh, old, AC, uh, the newer like ACH styles and I have like the old school Marine Corps Kevlar. And like I said, it fits really well with those on there. Now, um, when actually shooting with this, um, let's see if I can have another little video over here. When you're actually like shouldering a rifle, uh, what you're wondering about is this one is that it has like a, if your face is here, it has like a kind of like a nose thing that comes out and kind of like a snout kind of. So you have to be aware of this part right here when you're um, moving your head left and right, you know what I mean? Or up and down, it's just gonna have like a little, like a super chin kind of sticking out type of deal. You know, as aside from some of the other ones where you have a thing and it sticks out to the side or to the to the one side or to the other, or it's like a super weird shape. You know, there's all those multiple different shapes. You just have to keep that in mind with what you have going on. And so, um, 
One of the things that I really do like about this one, after even after all these years, is that these rubber, these like really rubber straps right here, you know what I mean? This is still really good. I, I, I keep this in a nice dry environment. I wash it and clean it. Anytime I use it, you know, always clean your gear because you never want to like, oh snap, I need to use a gas mask. And then you like, you know, neglected it. And now you're going to get neglected. You know what I mean? Especially if you need it at the time. So also I'm making this video because there's a ton of, there's a ton of events happening within the past couple of years. Now, originally when I made this, I was making it February of 2020 because, um, you know, before everybody realized the whole, you know, outbreak of, you know, of the bug and everything. Um, I had known about it the year before because, you know, thank you, Mr. Thank you, sir. And a salute to Mr. Medicare and to, to the Chinese uh, doctors over there that uh, perished and were taken away by the uh, police forces for trying to warn everyone because that's not allowed. You, you can't warn people ahead of the schedule of the script of the, of the narrative of the, you know, what they're trying to do, blah, blah, blah. So we figured out early this was going on and I was going to make this video and then there's so much stuff started happening right at the beginning of that because I tried to tell people, hey, this is going to happen. They didn't care, blah, blah, blah. And then now when it's on the news, everyone's like, hey, did you hear about this thing? And then here we are today. The little domino starts the big domino. All that stuff started happening and look where we're at today. Uh, wildfires in Canada, um, you know, train spills all over the place. Uh, what is it? They've got aliens going on. You don't know what, what that's, you know, what's going on. Uh, I mean, you know, East Palestine, they have, uh, you know, all kinds of stuff where you can't breathe the air. It's not breathable. It's hard to breathe craziness. You have to have some sort of gas mask or the ability to filter the air. They make one for kids too. So like I said, if your family's, you got something going on, like house fire, lots of random fires, random things are exploding. It's great to have a gas mask and at least, you know, difference between like an actual gas mask and a particulate filter like a you know respirator or something like that and there's also a difference between that and um you know n95 masks or you know p100 filters or whatever and like i said this is a great mask because you can you can move any of these to, you can move the uh you can put this this little cap you can put this here if you want to run the filter out to the side sorry my hand slipped there run the filter out to the side depending on what type of gear you're wearing and um you know what i mean and it's really it's just a really nice thing to have you know to have the option of doing so now my friend um master rick on his channel i think i we've done a video i try to put it in a little little thingy that pops up up here we did a video, uh, a gas mask, like the Mira safety mask. Mira makes really good stuff. They may even, the Mira even makes a single full face one that's not like the, the SAS style with the two googly eyes, like the little, little eye socket ones. And like I said, that's great. Like I said, the field of view is still really good. It's really awesome. It's fun. It's great to use. I, I actually enjoy it. You know what I mean? But um, me personally, I went with this one because on, there's an app called Devor, D-V-O-R. It just has random deals. It's like an offshoot of optics plan, if you know what that is. It's another great website that people like to check things out. Um, and they just had a deal one day. They're like, hey, look, check this out. Ah, Spirian OptiFit mask. Uh, it was like a, you know, if you order it through this app, through Devor, you can get uh, you know whatever percentage off. I think I got it for like 150 bucks. I think it was like, you know, it was like a ridiculous percentage off, like 20 to 40% off. And I just was like, all right, I'll get it. And I'll try it out. And I've done many, many videos with it. Uh, I'll try to put some of those in the description. You know, guys, you all know I'm really bad with remembering to fill out the description sometimes because I get really busy and having to do all this stuff. Uh, like I said, I've done a lot of videos with this. People really enjoy these videos. You know what I mean? So uh, I, I don't know, man. I just, I really enjoy this one. I, I had a chance to purchase many other different types of uh, masks. You know what I mean? There's all different types of masks you can buy. There's different... Uh, gas masks is different uh like i said even these like these, these are great it just depends on what you're using it for you know what i mean whenever i go to work like i said we do fiberglass we do all kinds of stuff i take this with me to do fiberglass or i'll take one of these it just depends on what i have available or if it's not cleaned or whatever um you know do, you know something catches on fire or you're doing some other type of job where you got some really foul just really rotten or just disgusting whatever you can put it on like i said it's great because like I said, I was doing fiberglass and if stuff was falling on my face, it wasn't touching my face with this, you know what I mean? It'll fall into your eyes. You have to wear that. So this, like I said, this does both, even though it's a little bit much. And like I said, uh, for me personally, I use these, these ABC, ABC Schultz filters. These are like a, a German Swiss collaboration. They make these filters. These are really good. I don't know. I'm trying to, I'm going to see if I can get like the actual the actual schematics of within what it was actually in these these are like military filters for the swiss and the uh, german military uh 
Are there a surplus? I don't know if there's a surplus or not. It's very hard. I, I don't know. I, I, I'll see if I can put the information up on the screen of what exactly these things are made of. Because the only thing, I, the only time I've ever seen anybody open one of these up is on somebody on YouTube took like a water jet cutter and sliced it open. And it was like tons and tons and tons of layers of charcoal and um, like small metal holes and like mesh filters. And it's really awesome. Like a lot of really good stuff is in there. These are very cheap. I bought these. Um, I think it was like, I don't even know. It might've been a hundred dollars for a box. I got like eight or nine of these just in a box. Somebody had it on eBay. They're, they're rated really high. Like I said, they're really good. They're 40 millimeter NATO thread, which is what this is. So it fits in these. You can put it anywhere you want. Um, it's really good, really good. I'll definitely see if I can find some information on it and put that in the description as well. Because like I said, this is going to be one of my more polished videos. Because this is, like I said, this is like one of my old school, more polished videos. I do a lot of videos here and there because I don't really plan a lot of them. But like, this is one of the ones I actually like try to, you know, make for like the wider audience. There's a lot of different types of people walk to watch these videos. Because like I said, it doesn't have to be military veteran. It doesn't have to be, you know, high speed operator, Navy SEAL you know, flying around, zip zapping and, you know, doing all this type of stuff. Regular person can definitely use something like this, not just, you know, guy from Breaking Bad doing all types of, you know, making stuff in a, you know, a trailer out in the middle of nowhere, get into some, you know, stuff with some people. You know what I mean? So if you guys have any questions about gas masks or any other types of things like that, this is like a very basic video, just like the six year follow up video. Um, like I said, I, I love this mask. I'm thinking about buying another one. There's a safety store in town. Let me see if I can go get another one. But like I said, another reason why I do this video is because there's so many different types of things going on where I've seen people just looking crazy, wildfires, arsons and stuff, like just crazy stuff. And, you know, this video is being made right now. It's, uh, what is it, 2023? You know what I mean? The preseason, the 2024 election. Now, people who aren't in America, you don't understand that. Uh, American politics is intentionally made to be super uh, hyper inflammatory and stuff because, you know, the government and all these other interest groups are trying to make people in America crazy because they want us to go. They don't like us. So they just make everything super, you know, inflammatory and crazy. And like they, you know, they'll make a bunch of crazy stuff go on more than you could even imagine just so that they can have their way with a bunch of other stuff that has nothing to do with what most normal people even care about. So having gear like this is important if you live in the modern world because, like I said, look at over in France. They're protesting for their, you know, their version of what they believe to be, you know, injustices over there that's going on because, you know, Macron sucks and all this other stuff. And boom, they got to have gas masks because they're going around. This crazy stuff is happening. You know, their the smokes are going off and firebombs and all types of buildings are on fire. Things are going on. Hey, they got a gas mask. Hey, good for you, man. I appreciate y'all are getting in the streets and, you know, standing up for yourself. Hey, do what you got to do. Hey, you know, just try, you know. It, it, yeah, it is what it is. And like I said, over in the Netherlands, all, all, all around the world, South Africa, stuff's going on. Over in Asia, stuff's going on. Like I said, so it's always good, especially if you live in America. Some people don't know that America is a very big country. It's very, you know, way out there. Lots of really wild situations can go down. So it's always good to have a gas mask. It's always good to have something, you know, if you in, are in need or, you know, able to help somebody else and they might need it. You know what I mean? So it's a really good thing to have. One of my favorite pieces of gear that I've gotten. Uh, these filters are fantastic. I'm thinking about getting some mirror safety ones because I don't actually have any of those, but I've helped my friends order them. I've checked them out. I go to gun shows a lot and um, I've had a lot, a lot of chance to see them and I like their little um, charts that they have. It shows like the ratings of what, how good they are and everything. It's really fantastic. This is a great gas, the Spirian OptiFit, made by Honeywell. They make a lot of different 3M or style and you know those types of products. They make a lot of really good stuff. And like I said, it's hard to find this mask online. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to find the exact one because there's so many ones that look just like it now. There wasn't when I originally got it. So like I said, it's really hard to find. Like so I, I want to order a couple extra pieces, you know, to make sure whatever. So if when I order another one, I go to Honeywell. I'm gonna try to get the little serial number, order this exact one. And then I'll order some extra parts for it. But I don't know the exact price. I'll see if I can put that in the description or whatever if I can actually find one. But um, yeah, man, uh, I'm not like a, I don't, I'm not paid by these people or any of these companies. I just do these videos every once in a while because like I know there's a lot of working men and women out there that actually have to do things. I like to make videos to help you guys, uh, you know, and girls, uh, you know, make better decisions. You know what I mean? So you can like more easily decide what it is that you want so you don't have to buy a bunch of stuff wasting a bunch of money and then wasting a bunch of stuff or not knowing what's going on so you can make like a more you know informed decision so comments concerns stories anything funny it doesn't even have to be anything just put it down below like the video definitely like it because the algorithm is super hardcore against me because i just try to talk to people about you know just regular things and 
eventually one of the things you talk about will cross some super rich politician or some crazy person somewhere that's got all this money and doesn't want you to know, blah, 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 blah. So definitely like the video, share it with your friends. Um, there's probably a bunch of things I'm forgetting. Oh, yes. These. Um, when you are putting the, the mask on, uh, let me see if I can just... When you're putting the mask on, uh, I like to do it uh, the bottoms first. You know what I mean? So that then you can or just adjust your face and then do the bottoms first and then do the top and then do these two. It makes it easier for me when I'm putting it on because this, this material right here is like rubber, but it's like very... It's like, it's not slippery. It's kind of like, it's kind of sticky rubber. It's kind of weird. So like I said, you got to be careful about that. But like I said, overall, fantastic mask. Had it for six years. Absolutely love it. Fits with the gear. Um, looks great with the gear. Uh, I can actually even wear my sunglasses underneath it. Um, it's actually really, really, um, it's really, really great. Um, so if you would like to check out this mask, definitely look it up. It's called the Spirion OptiFit. Yeah, excuse me. Spirion OptiFit. That's what it's called. Um, it's a gas mask. They might have some other name for it now because it's all different types of names. But I'll put all the information uh, down below when I'm able to finish that up. Thanks for watching. Comment down below, and I will see you in the next video.